Hi everybody, this is Cindy at Vintage to New with another video tutorial. Today we're going to make a Rick Rack Rose. So to get started, I like to put my ends together like so. I've cut about 23 inches of both colors of the Rick Rack and you just begin kind of weaving it nice and flat into each other like this. Okay, and as you go down you're going to need to um, just every once in a while um, pull it through like this so that it doesn't get all tangled up below but you're just going to keep it as flat as you can and just keep doing this until you get to the other end of your rickrack pretty simple so I'll meet you at the end I have put it all together and this is what it looks like and if you notice it wants to twist just a little bit in turn here and there so what I'm gonna do is take it over to my iron and give it a nice little press be right back so here's what it looks like after it's been pressed and I just love the little candy cane striped effect that it makes. Um, the one tip I have is that your, elast your Rick Rack needs to be the same size Rick Rack. You can't have a large Rick Rack and a small Rick Rack and wind it together to look like this. So now we're ready to start rolling it into our Rick Rack rows. I'm going to use fabric tack glue to do this rose. Um, you might be able to use a hot glue gun, but to me it just ends up a little um, stiff, hard, um, once that hot glue dries. So here's how this works. I'm um, going to take it, put a little dot of glue at the very end, my, right where we ended, Okay, smash it together. And then I want to do just a little fold down and turn up so that I end up with just a little bit of bulk right there at the beginning and add just a little dot of glue about right there and then just start turning it up add a little bit more glue just at the bottom my glue is kind of dry and hard to come out. So just a little bit right at the bottom, right along the edge, and then just keep rolling it up, keeping that edge nice and straight, and just keep adding glue at the bottom. It doesn't take a ton. And rolling it up, and we're gonna do that all the way to the end of our Rick Rack that we attach together. We've rolled it all the way up to the end now and I've added my last little bits of glue along that edge, the bottom edge. I roll it up. I remove the pin that I had put in the top when I started. Then I'm going to take and turn it to the bottom edge. I'm going to add a good little bit of glue right at that bottom edge and I'm going to take our raw ends, turn them down and stick them right into that glue. So the raw ends are now underneath and this is what it's going to look like. It kind of looks like a little rickrack drum or something like that. I don't know, a little ball. But what you do to get the rose effect is you start on your outside edge and you start just peeling it back a little bit at a time all the way around one row at a time. And you just peel it back and as you go along you can see it kind of comes out and looks more like a flower. So just keep peeling it back, peeling it back. Now, you don't have to go all the way to the center. You could if you wanted to, but we all know that sometimes flowers have a, a tighter center than the outside. So just work it until it's the way you like it. I'm going to keep doing this, just keep showing you a little bit here. 
and it should be nice and stuck in that glue that you had down at the bottom so it shouldn't come apart on you. All right, just keep peeling it back. As you can see, it's starting to look more like a flower than a little rickrack drum. Okay. All right. So keep working on that. Now that I have my my rickrack rose how I want it to be, I've cut out um, four leaves and now I'm going to put them right sides together and sew them together. I've sewn these leaves together right side together and I started here and sewed down to here back up and around and I've left this back end open here so that I can turn it right side out and before I do that I'm going to trim off um, across the tip right above the stitching so that I can get a nice sharp point when I turn it right side out. Okay, I have turned it right side out. I have pressed it. I have top stitched around the edge. And now what I'm gonna do is give a little shape to the leaves. I kinda like to have just a little bit of shape. So determine what is the back side and take your needle and thread and with a real small little <clears throat> knot in the end right here work your way up to the front okay we're just going to run a little tiny running stitch right down the center of our leaf like so okay and then we're just going to give it a little pull so that it gathers just a little bit so that it has just a little bit more emphasis to it, more, it's just not flat. So then I'm gonna take this and tie it off right here at the end, once I've determined about as much as I want in the gathering, and then I'm gonna take these two ends, kind of fold them up and put them together like so. Tie them off. thread. As you can see it kind of has a little bit more of a shape to it. It's pinched on this end and gathered in the center. Do that on the other leaf too. Okay now I've done the same thing to the other leaf. Now I'm going to take it and just put it right the back sides of the leaves together and just give them a little stitch together with my hand sewing here. I'm just going to sew it, sew it together. Okay, I'm going to turn them over and um, finish it off, tie a knot. Like so. So it should look something like that. Nice little wrinkly leaves. Then I'm going to take my rows that I made. I'm going to add a whole bunch of glue right here in the center. Okay. I don't know if you can see that big blob of glue or not. Let's get it closer. Big blob of glue in the center. I'm going to take the back of my rose, stick it right in that glue, and then I'm just going to hold it for a little bit. Then the only thing you have left to do is to attach a pin back back here. Um, you can glue it or sew it depending on how you're going to use your Rick Rack Rose. And here it is. Great little embellishment for lots of little things. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for stopping by. Until next time, bye.